Hi everyone, in a previous video we talked about what each term in the multivariate distribution equation means and I own you an explanation of what this term here sigma, which is the covariance matrix means. So let's get right into it. If you remember from the previous video, in the 1D case, sigma which is the standard deviation and is equal to the square root of the variance control the spread of the distribution. The higher it was, the wider the spread became, meaning that the data points were more dispersed around the mean. In contrast, when sigma was smaller, the distribution became more narrow, indicating that the data points were clustered closer to the mean. Now, let's see how this concept of spread translates to the multidimensional case and how the covariance matrix helps us encapsulate it. In the multidimensional case, the covariance matrix sigma plays a similar role to the variance in the 1D case, but with some important differences. It not only tells us about the spread of the data in each dimension, but also about the relationship between the different dimensions and how these dimensions vary together. Let's see what I mean by that. First, let's talk about the diagonal elements of the covariance matrix. These elements represent the variance of each individual variable, just like the variance did in the 1D case. For example, if we have a bivariate distribution, sigma will be a 2 by 2 matrix, and the diagonal elements sigma 1 1 and sigma 2 2 will represent the variance of the first and second variables. When these variances are large, means that the data is spread out in those dimensions. Conversely, smaller variances mean that the data is more tightly clustered around the mean in that dimension. On the other hand, the off-diagonal elements of the covariance matrix, sigma 1, 2 and sigma 2, 1, represent the covariances between different variables. This element tells us how two variables change together, or, in other words, the direction of their relationship. If the covariance is positive, it means that as one variable increases, the other tends to increase as well. If the covariance is negative, it means that as one variable increases, the other tends to decrease. A covariance of zero means that the variables are uncorrelated, implying that the changes in one variable don't predict the changes in the other. However, although by varying the elements that are not on the main diagonal, we modified the strength of their relationship, these values don't tell us directly how powerful their relationship is. What I mean by this is that even though we have a higher covariance between two random variables compared to other two random variables, it doesn't directly imply that their relationship is stronger. See my video about correlation versus covariance to find out more about this subject. And that's about it folks. So to recap, the elements on the main diagonal tell us about the spread or variation on that dimension, while the elements that are not on the main diagonal tell us about the direction of their relationship, either positive, negative or zero. Please hit the like button if you found this explanation helpful, share your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe if you want to be up to date with the content I create on this channel. See you next time. Bye bye.